It's the 2022 post draft video! Starring JB! Featuring Eric's terrible team! Bob's team, who from what we heard was drafted on other teams! Sam's NDA team! Uh oh, Adam's Army out week two! Carl? With week one previews and 2022 projections. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, and uh, Eric. Uh, welcome to the 2022 post draft video. Um, week one preview. Uh, this is always a fun one. This is where we get to dissect some of the draft. Uh, get to make fun of some people. I uh, get to crown champions early um, as we go through the projections of the playoffs uh, and whatnot. So it's one of my favorite videos to do because it's always good to, you know, you still have hope. You know, spring's eternal. Everything's looking good. Eric is still roster baiting to his uh, team, thinking he's got a shot at the championship. And that, it just, just, you know sweetness. Adam's team hasn't been devastated by injury. Um, I'm not 0-2 yet, panicking, saying, oh, this season's over, and then, boom, uh, somehow come around to the Golden Goose. So, uh, you, you know, let's just get into it. Here's the moment. Let's see who Yahoo thinks is going to win the belt this year and how I determine that is by you can see at the end just the 1 through 12 uh, records right but what I do then is I go through and project the playoffs and then go and look each uh, week just the what the lineups are set you know I don't change it right I can't but then I take the points that it does project and just go up so straight from there it tells you if you do weeks 15, uh, 14, 15, and 16, and it'll tell you the champions are 15, 16, 17. Yeah, because we played 18 weeks now. So, let's get into it. Let's break down the Constellation Championship. So here it is, the Constellation Bracket. In 7th place, Major Dick Bong, 7-7. Seven 8th seven. place, locked in at 7-7. Seven seven. Ninth, better than Eric, always better than Eric, eh, with 6-8. D tenth DJ Shark do 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 with three and eleven. Eleven War Daddy uh three and eleven as well. Perfect fitting Bob and Eric at three and eleven. And in last place, the auto draft, glorious domination. So as we look in the first round here, it's Bob versus Eric. It's only fitting that it's Bob and Eric in the constellation championship bracket. Eric comes off with the victory here. And then we go to Meredith and Travis, uh, and Travis gets the victory. So Eric and Travis miss the dumper, leaving Bob and Meredith to that distinction. The uh, second round features 7th seed Kara versus the 12th seed Travis Kara getting the victory. The 8th seed Kyle defeating the 11th seed Eric. Eric just can't break through to any championship again. In the ninth and 10th place matchup, the 11th seed Eric does finish the playoffs 2-1, defeating Travis. So congratulations on your ninth place finish, Eric. In the Constellation Championship, it is a .5 victory in favor of Kara, taking home a title over Kyle. And this is the matchup everybody's been waiting for. That's why it's at the end. That, of course, is the Dumper Bowl. And it's so close, but Bob gets to take it home. That stays in the Harvey household for a second consecutive year. Bob, remember when you took that shot? You were just preparing to take it this year. It is the curse of the, of the toilet. You take a shot out of it, you will be keeping it. So congratulations, Bob. In the championship bracket, we have the one seed, Team Kids in a Cage, with 11-3 record. Yeah, the second seed, Drafting Now, another 11-3. Tamagotchi Poop, who auto-drafted. Very odd, different ones there, right? 
uh, 10 and 4. Dunder Mifflinity uh, with a 9 and 5 record comes in the fourth. The fifth, the GOAT, the six time champion with a 7 and 7. It doesn't matter where you place in the bracket as long as you get to play in the championship bracket. And the six seed, uh, Thunder Bastard with a 7 and 7 record. So let's see how that first round matches up. It's the three seed, Dana. Falling to the sixth seed, Katie, 128.13 to 128.52. The fourth seed, Sam J, taking on the fifth seed, JB, Battle of the Champions. JB comes victorious, 127.67 to 126.75. JB's quest for seven continues. The fifth six matchup. Sam J gets the victory over Dana to finish in fifth place. It's the hollowest of all fantasy victories. Championship semis are all set. The one seed, Sam B, losing by .02 to the six seed, Katie. I guess the Stanzix are moving on. Katie was in the Constellation Championship last year. Now she's moved up to the championship bracket. Over on the bottom side here, we have the two seed Adam losing by 0.48 to the fifth seed JB. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, JB is on his way back to defend his title. Can he become a three time, uh, three, uh, seven time champion three in a row? In the 3 4 matchup, uh, Adam secures at least a third place finish, helping him out with the defeat over Sam B. The moment you were all dreading, the moment you were all hoping wouldn't happen, happened. Kane, you put all your hopes and dreams and everything into Katie, and Katie comes up short by .13. And again, your seven-time world champion, your back-to-back to back champion first time ever JB gets to keep the belt for another 365 days woo yeah damn right I won the belt uh, let me just take a victory celebration here cheers the belt And as always, when anything good happens, right, we cheer Carl. There you go, Carl. Bing! JB! Yes, fantasy gods? Is this really what happens? What do you mean? Is this really what happened? Something tells me you're not telling the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah who says I win? Why wouldn't I win? I'm the champ. JB, one last time to tell the truth. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. That wasn't the truth. Wanted to scare you guys. Wanted to get you all worked up early. But the fence guys are always watching, right? So maybe, maybe I'll give in. So here we go. Here is the real championship prediction. Am I still champ? I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so not much, nothing changes here, folks. Okay? This is still the same. Sam B is one, Adam's two, Dana's three, Sam J is four, I'm in fifth, and Katie's in sixth. That is legit how it's going. So in the first round, uh, Katie still defeats Dana. That was the truth. Uh, but here's the moment you've been waiting for. Here's where it all goes astray for JB. Truth be told, Sam J defeats JB pretty handily here. So the quest for seven, the back to back to back, it all comes apart in the very first round in week 15. You're welcome, everybody. So where does JB end up? That's right. This be true. JB gets to end up in the hollowest of hollow victories. A fifth place finish. Uh, the lowest 
it's been in quite some time, but nonetheless, there you go. A new champion will hold the belt in 2022-23. Playoff Mania is looking pretty good here with the one seed, Sam B versus the six seed, Katie, with Katie still getting that .02 victory. And then in the bottom, Adam going against Sam J. Sam J is the one that's moving on against Katie in the championship. Nothing changed here. This was still true. Adam gets the victory over Sam B. So Adam gets a third place victory. His best ever. Congratulations, Adam. And in the championship game, does the belt get to Katie? She won the consolation last year. She's now in the championship. And the answer is no. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, this belt does not end up in the Stanzik household. It's going back to the Havner. Sam J. Wow. A three time champion. He's catching up. He takes the belt in 22 23. Congratulations, Sam J. Who cares? They're just projections, anyways. So much can change. Uh, <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> I'm not crying at all. Ugh. If this is the last fleeting moments of me having this belt, by damn, I'm going to make it the best that I can. And we're going to wear this proud like I've always done every time I've held this belt. Um, I am the best champion. Not the champion you need, nor the champion you deserve, but the champion that you're going to get. So, uh... Let's get right into it, right? Let's get into week one. So the GOAT takes on War Daddy in week one. Eric leads this series 10-9. to 9. Is there no other way to better start this season than against Eric? DJ Shark Doo 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 Doo, -doo takes on Thunder Bastard. Bob leads this series 9-8. Glorious Domination taking on Drafting Now in Week 1. This series is tied at one apiece. Better than Eric. Always better than Eric versus Team Kids in a Cage. This series is tied as well 2-2. Two to two. The projected Consolation Championship starts right now in a Week 1 matchup. Major Dick Bong taking on Locked In. Woo! Woo! Kyle leads this series 10 to 2. It'll be a long time, Kara, before you can catch that back up. And in another dominating series, Dana leading at 9 to 2. It's Dunder Mifinity taking on Tamagotchi Poop. I made a promise uh, at the draft party that uh, if Meredith named her team better than Eric, I would uh, give her a player profile each and every week. And I'm going to do just that. So here it is, Meredith's player profile. Easiest one to start off with is the overall record against each other. Meredith owns the regular season record 2-1. to one. She also owns the playoff record. Hey, yo. So overall, Meredith has three victories to one loss against Eric. Well, there you have it. Week one in the or uh, post draft in the books. Uh, heading straight into week one, beginning uh, on Thursday. Excited, can't wait. Bart's got us. Uh, so, without further ado, here's to all of you who have a fighting chance to take this back from me. I'll see you on the fantasy gridiron.